Hello everyone, welcome to Tubwes 730. We give information about AI's latest technological news. Please stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come, let us connect to the video and start exploring. Researchers have created a low-cost, energy-efficient robotic hand that can grip a variety of things without dropping them by using only its wrist movement and skin sensation. A human can easily grasp objects of various sizes, shapes, and textures, but a robot finds it difficult. A soft, 3D, printed automatic duke that cannot separate its fingers but can yet carry out a variety of circuitous movements was recommended by the University of Cambridge advisors. The robot hand was programmed to grip various things, and by analyzing data from sensors attached to its skin, it was able to anticipate whether it would drop them. Compared to robots with fully motorized fingers, this sort of passive movement is both more easier to manage and significantly more energy efficient. According to the researchers, low-cost robotics with more natural movement and the ability to learn to grip a variety of items might be created using their adaptive architecture. In the journal Advanced Intelligent Systems, the findings are reported. The brain and body interact to produce movement in the natural world, allowing both humans and animals to move in complicated ways without using excessive amounts of energy. Recent developments in 3D printing technologies have made it possible for researchers to add complexity to straightforward, energy-efficient systems, which has paved the way for the incorporation of soft components into robotics design. The human hand is incredibly complicated, and it is extremely difficult to replicate all its dexterity and adaptability in a robot. Most of today's sophisticated robots cannot easily do manipulation tasks that little children can. Humans, for instance, humans naturally know how much force to use when picking up an egg, but this is a challenge for robots because too much force could cause the egg to break, while too little force could cause the robot to drop it. A fully actuated robot hand that has motors for every joint in every finger also uses a lot of energy. Researchers from Cambridge's Department of Engineering are working on potential answers to both issues, a robot hand that can grab a range of items with the proper amount of force while consuming the least amount of energy. This work is being done in Professor Fumiya Ida's Bio-Inspired Robotics Laboratory. In prior research, Dr. Thomas George Deruthel, a co-author who is currently located at University College London, demonstrated that a robot hand can have a sizable range of motion just by moving the wrist. We wanted to test whether a passively moving robot hand could not only grasp objects, but also predict whether or not it would drop the objects and adjust in response. To allow the hand to feel what it was touching, the researchers employed a 3D, printed humanoid hand that had tactile sensors implanted in it. The only movement the hand could make was passive, wrist-based movement. The researchers ran more than 1,200 tests on the robot hand to check its grasping strength and capacity to not drop small objects. Small 3D, printed plastic balls were used to educate the robot to grasp them using a predefined action learned from human demonstrations. This kind of hand has a bit of springiness to it, it can pick things up by itself without any actuation of the fingers, stated the first author, Dr. Kieran Gilday. The robot can tell how well its grasp is working thanks to touch sensors, which also alert it when it starts to slip. It can forecast when things will fail thanks to this. To determine what kind of grip would work, the robot experimented. It first tried to hold a peach, a computer mouse, and a roll of bubble wrap after completing the training with the balls. In these tests, 11 out of 14 objects could be effectively grasped by the hand. George Deruthel explained that the sensors, which resemble the skin of the robot, measure the pressure being applied to the object. We cannot say with certainty what information the robot is receiving, but it can theoretically estimate where and how forcefully the object has been grasped, says the researcher. According to Gilday, the robot learns that a particular motion combined with a specific set of sensor data will result in failure, making it a customizable solution. The hand is relatively straightforward, but it can pick up numerous objects using the same technique. The range of motion we can achieve without utilizing any actuators is the main benefit of this design, according to Ida. We aim to make the hand as simple as we can. 
Without any actuators, we can obtain a great deal of useful information and a high level of control, resulting in more complex behavior in a more effective package whenever we do add them. In addition to the energy it consumes, a fully operated robotic hand poses a challenging control issue. The Cambridge hand's passive design, which makes use of a limited number of sensors, makes it simpler to manipulate, offers a wide range of motion, and speeds up the learning process. Future improvements to the system could include adding computer vision capabilities or teaching the robot to take advantage of its surroundings so that it can grip a wider variety of objects. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.